so I woke up this morning, and I had it already on my mind last night that I was going to wake up today and be on some super positive, you know, just trying to be chill. I decided I was going to get up, get dressed, and go job hunting. Why not? So I get dressed, finally, came downstairs, fixed me some breakfast. I went back upstairs, and I get on my laptop. Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, you know, what everybody's on these days. So I'm ready to go. I decide I'm about to go job hunting, and I came downstairs. My grandma sitting on the couch watching news and politics like she normally is. So I sit down with my grandma, you know, hey, chop it up, what you doing? I kind of caught peripheral of the TV. This shit for real. Some nigga just shot 18 kids. I sat down and watched it. You know, you feel bad for people who've had their children taken from them. There's nothing really you could do but pray if you pray. I'm sitting there analyzing, thinking like, damn, 18 kids just got killed. Who kills 18 elementary school kids, you know? So I went and I looked at the picture of the guy who actually did this shit. I'm thinking to myself like, damn, I wonder what his issues were. Like, what was the biggest thing in his life that he was trying to conquer, you know? Was it just a power thing? He just wanted to feel like he could overpower somebody or or what, you know? And, uh... It just kind of hit me like, fuck, life's short. You know, these kids didn't even know their social security numbers yet. You know, like, don't even know. They're still living block by block. They don't even know how big the world is. And then I get on Twitter. Now, this ain't no diss to nobody that tweeted me or whatever. I see motherfuckers talking about, oh, I wish a nigga would shoot my kid. You can't even say some shit like that. You got to be empathetic to the people who had their kids shot, first of all. And then second of all, if a nigga decide he wanted to walk into school and shoot down 18 kids, you ain't at school with them kids. What you gonna do? Are you gonna say something like that, trying to be a hard ass? You gotta really, really be on your shit. I might have my kids homeschooled when I grow up. God damn, niggas walking straight in public schools. Where were the teachers, you know? How did this man get on campus with a gun and just mow 18 kids down? He killed eight adults too. But still, like, how do you get on campus with a gun? Uh, elementary school where all the kids are around the teachers anyway all day long because they don't switch classes. How did a man get in the school with a gun and kill 18 kids? And then the ratchetness comes out. Fuck nigga, if you was from where we was from, your puss ass would be murked for killing these kids. So you're lucky that the cops got you, or whoever got you, got you. Because if you was where we was, your ass would be from a tree like you was a motherfucking slave. <clears throat> Excuse me, uh... I had a moment right there. Anyway, it's just a video, first video of many to come. And uh, subscribe to my channel. Follow my Twitter at Born Moody. Follow my Instagram at Born Moody. And checking out. Team Jose!